Hello, I hope I am audible. Mic check, check, check. One, two, three. Now let's go for some. I hope it is being recorded, right? Okay, so let's try Karakan. Advanced Karakan. And now he wants to go for. Uh, yeah, so this is pretty theoretical, I guess. Now he wants to exchange. Takes, takes. Okay, it's so like I can go here, but he has to check. Then I have 27. I guess I should do that, right? Okay, I guess I should do that. And now this line like takes we go there okay now i have to exchange hmm. whoa so he's denying the exchanges kind of unusual i don't like this Probably I have nine before at some point. Okay. Let's go for this and this, right? Let's go for normal development, I guess. I mean, I I can't do knight takes d four. Knight d4, queen d4, but I'm just trying to develop, right? I guess the most easy way to play chess is to just develop. Bring the knight, bring the knights in the center, and just play the normal game. So what what is he trying to do? I guess he's playing random moves or something. Okay. So if he takes there. Okay, so probably I just take and I just go here, right? Now everything is fine. So what's that? What is that? I take. What's the point? He takes. You go here. What's the point? I think that's kind of premature, right? Kind of premature. I don't like that, to be honest. I don't like this kind of sacrifice. It doesn't lead any anywhere. Um. All right, you have. I have tons of moves here, to be honest. I can just castle for starters. I can go knight. Okay, let's let's just castle first. Castle exchange pieces. Okay, now he wants rook d7. Uh, let's try to play active chess. Bring the queen in. I mean, what's the issue? I, I I guess I don't like the sacrifice that he made on d5. Yeah, now he's just offering me trade-offs. So um, I'm happy to do that. And uh, yeah, let's do some more. Let's say. So okay. I guess I can do one more, or maybe there's no need to. I can exchange rooks like this first of all. Yeah, as expected. 
now let's go here because now i have like whenever you are kind of more uh, you are having more points you just go and try to exchange more and more pieces i'm plus one so i think i believe that end game is favorable for black here because e6 is kind of covered it takes yeah so he's just helping me out okay so probably okay come back okay let's go b5 even i can even go b5 before if there's no need just come back then go b5 before So what is this? Okay, now you now have this. This is just, I guess, this is winning for me. This is definitely winning for me. Okay, some tactics, tactics, no tactics. Right now, no tactics. Play normal chess. Try to bring the king in. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yes, this is easy. This is easy to convert very easy just just keep playing normal moves you know yeah fine so i go up slowly slowly yeah slowly slowly one step at a time now i just go here probably read out the piece so you can you can start maneuvering some pieces here and there Tempo, maybe tempo on the pawn. Now I get the pawn. Okay, yeah, I guess a very interesting tactic, I guess. And then you have to just sacrifice yourself. So he goes here, you I come back, he goes here, I go here, and I just sacrifice myself. Okay. There. Alright, I can even I can take now. I can just check. You know, I can just take probably. Okay. Let's just take. Simplify. There. Uh, this is winning. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. Oopsie. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Alrighty, 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 okay. Okay, so now it's a basic checkmate. You have to cover, you have to force a king to, you know, here 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 like that okay so he's now basically on the fifth rank so we can now cover the fourth rank bring the king in bring the king in check him he'll go back and now he's on the sixth rank so we'll be covering the fifth rank bring the king in check him again he'll go back okay Cover the sixth rank. Bring the king in. Check. Bring the king now again. The usual pattern shows like we have to go queen e7, but we'll go queen c7 this time. And again, chase them like this. Chase, 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 and 
made. All right. Let's see, I guess. We were kind of fine throughout the game, I guess. Well, no, not much of an issue. And uh, yeah, let's, let's check, I guess, the sacrifice. What I was mentioning was was not required, I guess. I don't like that. Uh, over here, computer shows that I'm totally having a minus 1.3, 1.5. And it was in this situation very blundered, yeah. So knight d5 is just a blunder. Yeah, and then, then you we have to just you know sacrifice. So something like I mean sorry, we have to just exchange everything. So something like queen b4, exchange the bigger pieces because I am plus one. So whenever you are more than having more points, pair to exchange pieces. Now the question comes: what should be my priority to exchange pieces? Like should I start exchanging the smaller ones first, or should I exchange the bigger ones once first? The logic is suppose if they have the queen uh, they have the bigger pieces so the chance of them coming back in the game like by creating some counterplay is there but suppose if they are not even having any bigger pieces they are only having small pawns like somewhere scattered around the second or third rank from white then the chance of counterplay gets reduced okay at the same time it's not like I'm trying to checkmate you in just next maybe 10 moves. I'm, I'll be checkmating you, but maybe the checkmate will be going for next 30, 35 moves. But it's, a, a pro, it's an approach which creates higher chances for you to be accurate, you know, and it converts uh, every single time. All right, so let's, let's go for one move. And then we'll be stopping. Three plus two. No, white. Let's go d4. Four. Knight out. Catalan system. Okay, so this is kind of. I'll go here. You have to go bishop. Okay. Takes. Mm, yeah, okay. E5. So this is kind of a Tarash kind of a setup and Akiva Rubinstein always used to say that you know if you're playing Catalan against a Tarash always you'll be having the edge the side who is playing Catalan. So I think we have a decent play here the idea is we have to just give him the, the isolated pawn and I feel how do I give them the isolated pawn I guess first take. If they take by the knight, I have e4. Yeah, so I have this. Then I have d5. I have this. Okay, so I guess I can push. And uh, probably I can go there to enter. The pawn takes, knight takes. No, I cannot do that. The pawn takes, queen takes. Because I cannot take with the knight because the knight is doing a job right now. Defend this guy. Yeah, so probably the small problems. Queen takes. Bring the rooks in the game. On the open files, and then probably at the right time we want to jump in to d6, okay, which which is called as outpost. Okay, so now my opponent is giving me this diagonal, and now I'll just jump in right away because I want to capture this bishop. And uh, yeah, the moment the bishop goes away, okay, he's trying to bring it out with tempo. Makes sense. Makes decent sense. Um, probably I'll take the file there try to enter somehow also i have a couple of moves like you know b4 b5 I shut down the bishop permanently i think this is a pretty standard play i mean they have one small tactic like takes and if i take they take my queen okay i mean they, they take my knight i'm, I'm just messing around so what what is the threat here? What can I go here? 
Um, oh, I guess so. Mm, we'll go back. Yeah, okay. And now I guess if I go here. Uh, this is interesting, yeah. If I go here, they take me, and I take possibly and they save the night somewhere which i don't like too much so i guess i can go to c6 right because now if they take i take Now B5 is again kind of a trap. We see it. I want to go knight G5 probably. Knight G5 going queen H4. It stops me. Good. Probably at this point I want to take the file maybe. No, but he has rook C8. So. I want to go for something like you know something like back activating and then I want to bring the knight in something like that hmm. I take, they take, I take, queen take. So I just jump in like this. You take, I take. Yeah, so I was anticipating that kind of a threat. Uh, probably the move is I go here, here, and there. Now they have to sacrifice. Then I go here, probably. Okay, let's take the file. Do something else. Yeah? So he's hitting my pawn. How is he trying to hit me? So I can try to create a counter attack, probably. Yeah, probably. Because now queen takes, I take, knight takes, I take. I check, I come back, and I. Like that. So. See what's going on. So. Okay, let's. First of all. Try to protect. Then let's try to. And plus one, I can just exchange everything, right? Okay. Now if we just blitz out the most, okay? So check. Probably this is big enough stuff. So my opponent was trying to you know go away from the exchanges, but yeah, this is very simple. Okay. Let's see if we were winning throughout the opening. I guess we were winning throughout from the opening. Yeah, so Rubinstein's advice says I would say that Rubinstein used to say always that if someone tries to rush against you, always choose a Catalan system because Catalan always Overpower Starash. All right, so yeah, let me just check once. Uh, so it was kind of equal till here. Now, now I'm kind of one. To, okay, plus two, something like plus two computer shows. B4 was not so. I mean, was practical, but not so, not so cool. Rook C6 was a good find. 
Take stakes and then I guess when he sacrificed, no, then then that was not required. Take stakes, stakes. Yeah, this was not required to sacrifice. You had, you had, you have to play something like bishop b7, bishop back to b7. And yeah, this was not required because now I am having just so steady continuation. Okay, just take, take, and this is game over. Okay, all right. So uh, let me know, guys, if you if you liked. Uh, the live uh, gameplay and if you want more of this you can just comment on in the in the chat and uh, again i won't say to like share subscribe because i know you guys would and with that said it's already late here it's, it's almost 3 a.m so i'll i'll take your leave now i wish you guys good night and those who are watching in a different time zone i will wish you a good day and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye